Today we are sharing the longer Ray 5 laser etcher and cutter. And I know this is a little bit of a different video for us, but they contacted me and asked if they could send it to me and I really, really wanted to play with this. So that's what we're doing today. And because this year I really wanted to do a little more crafting and sharing of crafts with you, that's why we're doing it. This is a really exceptional machine, I have to say. I did share with you another laser cutter not too long ago, and that one was a really nice machine too, but this one, in my opinion, is much nicer. This is a diode laser, just like the Super other. Portable. It's very portable, and it is a rail system. It came, it's, it's very compact when it comes shipped to you. Um, you have to put it together. There is a learning curve. It took Rick uh, about an hour and a half to put it together. Uh, but um, the, the tricky part is really the, the air assist mechanism. This helps keep the diode laser cool while it's cutting. And this is an extra purchase that they were kind enough to send me along with it. I asked them if, if they were gonna send me the laser cutter, if they would send me the air assist and they were kind enough to do that. This, like I said, it keeps the laser cool when it's cutting, and they were also kind enough to send me this, which is the roller mechanism. This um, allows you to engrave round items, such as glasses, um, mugs, like your, your coffee mugs, steel tumblers, and what have you. So I will be sharing this and tackling this in another video down the line because I'm very excited to do that. Um, but this will be a separate video uh, because I really want to share this with you. I'm going to share with you some fun things today. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you all the things that I've cut for today um, with a focus on the upcoming Easter holiday at the end of this week. But I'm going to cut something for you right now um, just to show you what the machine can do. And I just wanted to um, help you to, to not forget that this is a really great opportunity for you to have a side hustle um, and earn some extra money to like go to craft fairs or go to your farmer's market to, you know, you can pump some of these things out in your spare time it doesn't take a lot. You can you can really cut a few things at night before you go to bed or in between like cooking dinner and having family time. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing it, but once you master the software that, that you'll use with it. Now it does come with a free software and it, and it comes with a free trial of a software that is superior which I have been using which is called Lightburn software. And this is the control mechanism. Now I'm, I'm hooking up to my desktop computer with a cable. It does have a Wi-Fi option, which I have not tackled yet, but I will very soon because I'm setting up at my kitchen table so that we have the opportunity to film this for you. I will be setting this up in my craft room. I don't have my desktop in my craft room, so I have a smaller, older laptop. Once I get my craft room all squared away, then my whole system might be different. But like I said, this is compact enough that I can have a permanent home for this in there. And um, you can, uh, once you have it hooked up to your computer, while this does have the control module right here, once it's hooked up to your computer with the cable or the Wi-Fi, really all you're doing here is turning it off and on. But you can just set it to engrave or cut, and you're going to hook it up to the Wi-Fi here. You're going to be able to, you know, home it here, and you're going to be able to do a couple other things from the control module. But it's very, it's set up, it's very user-friendly. Um, and then it comes with a very detailed uh, owner's manual that comes in a PDF form. You'll be able to read that on your computer, your laptop, your cell phone. You'll be able to do this 
from any device, your tablet, your, your uh, smartphone, your, your desktop computer or your laptop computer. And I think that they've done a fabulous job of making this really device friendly. So, Tell them what this is, um, because this is on my kitchen table, I have set up, this is just a, uh, this is a, um, just a craft mat that I have had for a very long time, but it is not, um, let me tell you right now, this is not, uh, this is a self-healing mat, but it is not a burn healing mat because it did burn through. Um, so what I will tell you is, is that uh, the longer company does have um, a, uh, a honeycomb work, uh, work um, mat that you can get to put down here that allows for smoke and uh, debris to fall through or you can make your own. And that's what we're gonna be getting ready to do. When we do that, if you want to learn how we're gonna do that, leave a comment down below and we will share how we're going to do that. Super simple and very inexpensive. I learned it from another gentleman online because you know when you need to learn how to do stuff, you go to YouTube University and you learn how to do stuff. So, and this, this, is just a cookie sheet. this is just a flat cookie sheet that I don't really use. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use that as um, a safe workspace so that we don't burn my kitchen table and we don't further continue to burn my craft mat, which this craft mat is so old it doesn't even matter. And the craft mat is serving its purpose to protect my my uh, otherwise, uh, you know, not so precious kitchen table that we bought on Facebook Marketplace, but I still don't want to ruin it. No. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to do a cut for you and I have a 12 by 12 sheet of basswood. Now you can get these on Amazon. Um, they come in, um, bulk and for about $30 you can get, I, I think two dozen pieces and like I'm going to tell you right now, there is a pretty broad learning curve. So expect to have that. Don't get frustrated. Just keep going. And um, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to make a lot of them. So don't get mad at yourself. What, honey? You're going to have a lot of practice pieces. So you can just keep cutting over. Um, if you've etched and not cut, and I will say, remember, the lower the number, the better the cut. Um, this is where I made a mistake, is that if you, um, the, the, the lower your, um, your, speed. your speed, the better your cut's going to be. Um, so your power at 100%, your number, um, your, uh, your cut number at like 200 or 300 or right around there, then your your cut is going to go all the way through. My mistake was was making a higher number and you were only getting an etch and it wasn't going all the way through, it wasn't going through at all. And I frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. So in any case, what I have here is my 12 by 12 sheet of basswood and I'm going to just put it where I feel is approximately the center of this sheet of of wood. It, doesn't have to be perfect. it does not have to be perfect because we're going to frame it. Show you what framing means. When you frame what you're going to cut, it's going to, the machine is going to, it's going to map, it it's gonna map out, exactly. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to map out the area that's going to use so that you can see that it's not going to go off um, your cutting area. And then you can adjust it. Uh, you can adjust where your your piece of wood is and you can just continue to hit that frame button until it's correct or you can continue to resize your uh, your graphic in the program until it's just right. So I'm going to go over to my computer and I'm going to hit the frame button so you can see what the machine does.
All right, now that we have framed it, we're gonna go ahead and cut and etch it. All right, our cut has finished and we just made a giant Easter bunny. It has a lot of intricate cutouts in the middle, but look how smooth it cut out. And the reason that it cut out so smoothly is because of the air assist. Um, without the air assist, it may have had scorch marks on it. Um, so I highly recommend if you are gonna get a machine like this that you go ahead and you get the air assist. Now the air assist blows cool air. So we're gonna close out today's video by showing you some of the things that I was able to cut for the first time using our longer Ray 5 uh, laser cutter and engraver. I have to say that I had a lot of fun using this machine. This machine is affordable, it's so user friendly, and I think that if you are looking for a side hustle, if you are a home crafter, if you are a woodworker, if you are someone who's looking for something that you can do in your spare time that can earn you some money, or if you're just someone who's looking for something to do that will bring you a lot of joy, this might just be that thing that you can do. Um, it's so much fun and it can really bring you a lot of internal pride. Um, you can see what I've done with a couple of these things. Now, the things over here are unfinished, but these things, I just used some of my craft markers. This one I used some sparkle pens on. I filled it in, but I'm going to continue to paint um, the outer parts of this rabbit with some white acrylic paint, this craft paint that I have on hand. And um, this, this folds flat for storage. This is just a sign that I, I cut out of a 12 by 12 sheet of basswood. Uh, I engraved the whole thing. And then I went at it with some metallic markers that I had on hand. And this looks just like it was hand painted. And I was so pleased when I finished it. I'm very excited to hang this on my door for Easter. And I just took some thick ribbon that I had. This is some recycled ribbon off of a blanket that I purchased at Christmas time because I'm not gonna throw that away. You know, if they're gonna put that on the ribbon, I'm gonna keep it because that stuff is expensive when you buy it in the store. So I'm gonna hang that on my door. The other thing that I colored in was this masterpiece. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these a little bit larger the next time. This is a six piece layered um, beauty that it comes, you, you cut it out there's six different layers and then there's six different separators. And then you can either leave it plain or you can color it in. Now I use some watercolor markers to cut, color this and I think it came out really beautiful. Now I just used the watercolor markers straight. I could have used the watercolor markers uh, watered down. It would have given it a more watercolor look. This I used a little more vibrant look for it, but then you glue everything together and mine's very temporary. I literally just used some packing tapes just so you guys could get the idea. But this is just a beautiful little um, sentiment that you can give someone and they can, they can uh, have it as an Easter memory. So um, we learned, bless you. We were a little Easter tree. I didn't color these in only because I wanted to show you that there's a lot of versatility going on here. All of these things fold flat for storage. Shazy, be quiet. Shut up. And then this is an egg holder. Um, again, you color up your eggs and then you'll be able to just display them here. And um, a lot of these cuts I got from uh, design bundles online and they have a lot of free cuts that you can download. And then if you're a member of their premium feature, uh, they have even more free things that you can download. Um, I'm not advertising for them, but this is the little gift tag that um, I was able to cut out and I think it's absolutely adorable. You can leave it plain, which is what I'm gonna do, or you can color it in. I'm gonna go ahead and just write the child's name on the back after I'm gonna paint this white and then I'm gonna write the child's name on the back. 
um, but this is gonna be for a gift. And then you can just tie it on to whatever you're gonna give them or onto the basket handle. And honestly, I can't say enough about it. Now this is an honest review. I did not get compensated for this review, but the folks at Longer were um, generous enough to send me the machine and I so appreciate that. I wanna thank them for that. And um, so just know that this machine is way better than the one that I reviewed earlier, uh, like at the end of last year. Um, not that that was a bad machine, it was just a different machine. The machine that I am reviewing here is twice the power. It's a 10 watt diode and it moves a lot faster and it has a lot more capabilities because it's bigger, it has a bigger uh, area that you can cut on and it also cuts a lot thicker material and it cuts a lot more materials. So just keep that in mind as I've mentioned throughout this video. So go ahead and check them out if it's something that you think that you would like to have. Like I said, if you're a home crafter, this is a great addition to your Cricut machine, your Silhouette machine, any other crafting machine that you have in your arsenal. If you are a woodworker, this is definitely a great addition to your shop. If you have any kind of um, woodworking equipment, like uh, a lathe or uh, any kind of wood turning equipment. This is definitely a great addition because you can turn out uh, wood pieces quickly that you can market for a good profit that aren't going to cost you a lot of money to make. So keep that in mind as well. Um, if you're a mom, if you're a homeroom mom, if you're the head of the PTA, if you're always working on school projects with your kids, um, this is also a great thing to have on hand because uh, anybody who's ever had kids knows there's always an opportunity where you need to make things for classes, for school projects, uh, or for anything like that and uh, in any and all things in between. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, again, I'm going to thank the people at Longer for sending me the Ray 5 machine. You will be seeing this in upcoming videos because uh, they sent me the... Uh, equipment to engrave tumblers and glasses and I definitely want to play with that. I want to do cutting boards. I want to do lots of other things and I think I want to give you lots of opportunities and lots of inspiration to get your own machine and um, make lots of Christmas decor and lots of Christmas gifts that will save you money because in this economy who doesn't want to save money? You'll make a little bit of an investment if you sell what you're making, you can recoup that money and then you'll have paid for your machine and then you can move on and it's, it's all cake from there. So thank you longer. Thank you for watching everyone else and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love it and until next time, I'll see ya.